guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Karen Harris and I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe down below so you can keep up with my videos. I generally upload every even day of the month so you can expect videos from me on the 2nd, the 4th, the 6th, etc. I'm sure you guys took math so you know what an even number is. But yeah, if you forget, you know, just go ahead and subscribe and YouTube will remind you every time I upload. If you're feeling really enthusiastic, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. Also, I do have an active giveaway on my channel right now. It is hidden, so you're going to have to watch a few videos and try and figure it out. But I am giving away a highlighter. Some of you might be really interested because I think it's a little bit hard to find. Like the highlighter itself is sold out everywhere. So I would take a gander, check out some of my videos, see if you can find it and definitely enter because I would love to give away a highlighter to one of you guys. Anyway, without further blabbering, I decided to test out some products from Dose of Colors. Now I had this video planned well before the Dizzy and Katie collab was announced, but I know you guys, if you watch YouTube, it seems like a new makeup product is coming out every day. So even though I picked up the Dose of Colors products, like these palettes and stuff, I just didn't get around to filming. Then they announced the collab. So I figured, hey, you know what? Let me just throw it all into one big video for you guys. So yeah, it all worked out in the end. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this video. So kind of like I mentioned in the introduction, I have tried Dose of Colors before. What exactly happened was back in the day when Dose of Colors wasn't as big as it is now, I remember purchasing a lip kit from them. It was like a holiday metallic Dose of Colors kit. And I had heard so many people rave about their liquid lipsticks and I was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to invest in Dose of Colors and try them out because everyone says how good their liquid lipsticks are. So I did. And at this time I was definitely in college. It was like a $54 kit for three lipsticks. So I definitely like splurged as far as like my budget back in the day. And I bought this lip kit and I was so disappointed because I hated the formula and I was really, really upset about it. So I basically decided never to try anything else from them. And yeah, their Hidden Treasures palette came out. I was like, no, thank you. Their ice cream palette came out. I was like, no, thank you. But then this year they decided to start selling on Ulta's website, which was great because there is an Ulta store where I live. And what I thought was if I don't like something, I can return it. So I did decide to take the plunge and I invested in the two matte palettes. So this is the Marvelous Mauves and the Baked Browns palette. I've heard really good things about these. If you guys like to watch Stephanie Nicole, she, I believe, reviewed a lot of Dose of Colors products as well. So I got these. They also came out with new highlighters, so I got one of their highlighters. This is in the shade Gold is the New Black, and this is what the packaging looks like on that. And then I also invested in one of their lipsticks, so very exciting. Then they announced the collab, of course. How gorgeous do these ladies look? And Desi and Katie are definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. Everyone says that. Every time I see one of these videos, everyone says, you know, they're like super humble and and they're just like a great, if I was going to be a YouTuber with millions of subscribers, I would aspire to be like Desi and Katie because they aren't like over the top. Like they're not like Manny and Laura and Jeffree Star. Like they are definitely more focused on beauty and keeping the peace, which I really think is great. And they are a really good example. Um, something to aspire to, I think, for a lot of smaller YouTubers. Anyway, so picked up from them the eyeshadow palette, of course, because I'm an eyeshadow palette junkie. And I had to pick up the shade Hot Fire because I cannot find a fiery red like this to save my life. So I was really excited for that. I picked up the highlighter in Mirror May, and this is the darker shade. And it's the one I have on right now. So this is everything I picked up from Dose of Colors. I also threw in a demo of the NARS stick foundation that I just picked up and this new Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the demo of these products. Okay guys, so I'm super excited for this get ready with me. So let's not dilly dally. To prime my lids, I'm gonna use the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Groundwork. This is a new color that I picked up when Ulta did their 20% off coupon. I just kind of got sick of using ochre, soft ochre all the time. Everyone uses soft ochre. So I was like, you know what? 
I'm gonna try a different color out and so far I really do like this it's definitely closer to my skin tone than soft ochre is and I'm just using a Real Techniques crease brush to apply that this brush is a little bit too fat for me to use in my crease so I like to use it for concealer and for putting on my paint pots now I also do want to prime my face a little bit so it's hydrated I've been trying out the ColourPop Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray. It is not that revolutionary. These are $6 a piece and it says that it'll like prime my face, but honestly the sprayers on this, they suck. It feels like you're shooting your face with actual like water. So it's a little bit scary. I honestly love ColourPop, but I would not recommend these products one bit to you guys. Okay, so now that my lids are primed, let's dive into these. Now, what I wanna do is use one of these on each eye. So I have the big browns, so let's start with that. Here is what the palette looks like in case you guys haven't seen it. This is all over the internet right now. A lot of really big YouTubers love this palette and I didn't necessarily think I needed this fat shadow brush here from Wet n Wild and tap into the first shade. It is definitely a little bit dusty, so you can see there is, I did hear that there is quite a bit of fallout with these but they are very pigmented so I'm going to use this just to set that paint pot. And then I'm just going to grab any of my crease brushes. This is the Morphe M505 and so we're just going to blend some of the shades in. So I'm going to go with the next shade which is Deserted. These are so dusty. Wow. So then I'm going to move on to the next shade, which is Outdoorsy. Basically what I'm doing is just blending all of these shades into the crease. And now I'm going to jump into Cherrywood, which is a beautiful brownie color. And I'm going to focus that more on the outer and towards the middle of the crease. Okay, and then I'm just going to dip into the darkest shade, which is Rock Bottom, just to focus on the outer part of the lid. So that's one eye with this palette. So far, I mean, I like the colors, but I just think they're way too dusty. I'm not sure I really like that palette. And then this is the Marvelous Mobs palette. This is the purpley one. And I got this one first, actually. Again, was saving both of these to do like a first impressions get ready with me. So I've never used either of these palettes. As you can see, they're brand spanking new. These remind me a lot of the ColourPop I Love Sarah E collection. So I'm just using the lightest shade in this palette to set my right eye. So the lightest shade is called Fluffy, and I just apply that all over the lid. Natural bristle brush for the purple palette so I'm going to use the Morphe M441. Again I'm just going to blend. Uh, that shadow feels a little bit loose that's kind of odd. Are these magnetized? I feel like they're magnetized so that you can oop almost went into the wrong eye there. This lilac shade is really beautiful and pigmented. Next I'm going to move to the next shade which is Wishy Washy. Now we're going on to a darker purple, which is spaced out. So I'm definitely concentrating spaced out to, towards the end here. Honestly, this dustiness is like unreal. I don't know if you guys can see that. The final shade to just darken it up some more is Wine Stain. So there we have both eyes done as far as these two palettes. I'm not going to use any more from this unless I do like the bottom lash line. But overall my thoughts on these are they're very dusty. Uh, these I believe are in like the $30 range, $32 I believe. And this is made in the USA by Joseph Colors and has a 12 month shelf life and is cruelty free. So if you're looking for some all matte cruelty free palette, you might want to check out the Dose of Colors palettes. 
And now I'm gonna open this because I kept it shut until I could film this video. I had quite the ordeal with the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collection because I actually have ordered one thing from the Dose of Colors website previously. It was like a holiday set from years ago and I hated that set so much that I never bought anything from Dose of Colors after that. And so then when I logged in, when the launch was happening, I like had my new address in there, but somehow in the panic, I didn't realize that it defaulted to my old address for shipping. So my package arrived and I'd been tracking it and I never thought to double check the address. And then it got returned to sender. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I realized it was old address. So then I had to contact them and luckily they were super nice and then they just sent it right back to me. So I was pretty excited when I found this in my mailbox the other day. This is what it looks like. This box was like custom made for their launch and then there is a little sticker in here that says Desi and Katie. I just was really excited for this launch because Honestly, Desi is one of my favorite YouTubers as well as Katie. I actually found Katie's channel first and then I started watching Desi. I just think Desi is so funny and just the two of them together are such girl bosses. So I was really excited when they announced their collaboration. Yeah, so very exciting. I did see like they were definitely so transparent with their collaboration as transparent as they could be they definitely did everything right as far as you know creating products that everyone could like use but embody their brands uh, and their friendship and a lot of the names are really like you know true to who they are the colors like Desi loves these fiery colors and like the nudes and the highlights and I just think they did a really good job and they did so much good like social media with it. They did that whole launch party for their fans, which I thought was really cool. So yeah, very, very exciting stuff. Here is the little card on the eyeshadow palette. And of course there's a ton of bubble wrap in here. This is my receipt. This is a little Dose of Colors card that says, we appreciate your business and hope you enjoy these new items. This is so cute. And then I only got three items from this collection because honestly guys the nude lipsticks I just knew I would never wear and then I have so many highlighters I decided to just get one so I could test out the formula and I actually have this highlighter too from Dose of Colors so I had been meaning to film this get ready with me for a while with Dose of Colors and then when they announced their collab I figured I'd just wait and do it all at once so yeah you know kind of a good plan but didn't plan on everything going to the wrong address but Anyway, so these are the products I picked up. I will show you these as we go along. Here is the eyeshadow palette, and the packaging is all beautiful rose gold, of course. And let me just take this out of the box. And here is what it looks like. There's a little bit of plastic on here, so let's take that out. But this is the packaging, of course. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with that. And let me just open this up. Oh no, my shadow is shattered. Oh no, I'm so sad. Look at that. That's Sue's. My Sue's is shattered. Oh, oh no. Okay, I'm going to try and press it back in. That's such a bummer, you guys. Okay, since I have so much of it on my finger, let me quick swatch it for you. There you go. Very, very pigmented. Wow, this is going to be a mess. I already, I already know it's going to be a mess. Fricksicles. Okay, so I try to press it back in, so there it is. Okay, so let's look here. So Suze is a Toast the Night Away with this crisp champagne shade, a super creamy texture that is formulated to be used wet for maximum texture, color payoff, apply with a damn finger. So that's one. Noli, and this is Bring Out Your Inner Bombshell with this Soul Tree bronze hue this perfect bronze shade is a powerful pigmented formula that glides onto lids for a silky smooth finish and that one's going to be very close to my skin tone but i like how desi and them explained that they didn't want it to be copper this is definitely more of a bronzy shade and i really appreciate that next is turboson start start sparkling with this ultra luxe shadow that is packed with shimmer reflex for intense color payoff and a glisten finish apply with finger so this is the one i was going to use on my purple side um the one the look that i did with the marvelous moms i was going to use this color but there it is 
And then the last shade is Harpoon. This says, take metallic to a whole new level with this dazzling shade. This unique shadow is formulated to be used wet for maximum texture color payoff. Apply with damp finger. Some interesting colors. I did hear them talk about this collection and they did say, you know, everyone already has their favorite matte palette. So they wanted to do something that you could use with your favorite mattes, which I thought was a pretty good idea. But yeah, let me go ahead and place these on my lids. So I was thinking of using Sue's on the brown side and I think I'm still gonna do that because I do want to try out a wet shadow. So what I'm gonna do is actually maybe use this ColourPop priming spray. I'm just gonna spritz it on my finger so my finger is wet now. And then I'm just gonna grab some of Sue's off this paper because it was shattered. And then I'm just gonna dab. So this is definitely very pigmented. I'm gonna try and use a flat brush here. I would definitely recommend, in hindsight, um, glitter glue with this, just cause of like, it's so much fallout and I feel like, you know, if I was gonna try and blend this now, I feel like all of this glitter is gonna fall onto my eyes, but I'm gonna do it anyway for the sake of that is like really effing messy, you guys. So this is what Suze looks like, and you can see there's a ton of fallout on my face. So I don't know. I don't know if I should have used a brush maybe and packed it on. Let me see if that makes a difference. Let's try a wet brush. They did say finger, but let's try a wet brush. I mean, I definitely am not gonna argue that it's not pigmented, it is. But I just don't know that this pigmentation is anything out of the ordinary. I'm happy to support Desi and Katie, but I don't know that they created anything like amazingly unique right here with Suze. So let's try Turbosan. That's what I wanted to use on my purple side. So let me just use my finger here. Turbosan definitely feels really dry. Um, it's not doing anything for me. Let me try wetting my finger. Because how much was this eyeshadow palette? I want to say it was like $28, which is quite a bit of money. I'm pretty sure it's about $28. So it's quite a bit of money to spend on something like this. And it's unique, but this quality, I just don't know that I would recommend this palette, to be honest. Like, I love Desi and Katie, but... I don't think this is worth it at all. It's beautiful, but you can definitely do this with like ColourPop eyeshadow. You definitely don't need to buy this palette. So I'm gonna stop there before it gets too out of control. Okay guys, so first we're gonna start off by testing this Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. This is new from Becca. I just picked it up from Ulta and you gotta shake it and I have actually used this a few times and so far I'm really liking it. It has this peachy color to it and I definitely think it does blur. I've also noticed and I feel that it definitely makes my makeup last longer which I'm a huge fan of and it definitely smooths out my skin as well. So I'm just patting it on to my skin. There is a lot of glitter on my face from trying out these eyeshadows, so bear with me on that. And so what we're gonna test out for my face is the NARS foundation stick. This is the Velvet Matte foundation stick and it has 0.3 ounces and it has a 24 month shelf life. I was really bummed when I saw that it was only half the product that you would get from a liquid foundation, but you know, with stick you really don't use as much, so We'll see how it goes. I don't know how much to put on, so I'm going to start off with less. And then we can add on more. And I got the, my summer shade in this. And I thought it would be fun to try out the applicator that it comes with. I don't know if you're supposed to like swipe or swirl. Maybe I should just use a regular sponge. L'Oreal sponge. So let's try half of my face with the sponge. See if it makes a difference. I go back and forth with foundation. Sometimes I love using a sponge and sometimes I love a brush. Right now I'm on a brush kick because I'm too lazy to wash my sponges, but it goes back and forth with me. 
So this is pretty good coverage. What do you guys think? I do have some blemish marks from extractions um, because I just got a facial this past week. But uh, there is the side with the sponge. Here is the side where I haven't blended the makeup. And then on this side, I'm just going to use the Real Techniques brush. definitely think both blended really well but if I had to pick I would definitely say I like the side that I use the sponge on better so I'm just gonna put more of it on because I feel like it's not giving me enough coverage then I'm just gonna blend everything in with the sponge you guys let me know what you think I feel like it definitely looks very natural and NARS really does for me it always blends really well the color is usually the perfect undertone and I did get my summer shade with this one so it looks pretty blended and then ours creamy concealer this is the soft matte complete concealer and I've been using this for a while as you can see there's a really good dent in here this is the shade ginger and I love this for my under eyes you guys it's such a nice buttery concealer but I'm gonna do the bottom lash line. So first I'm gonna dip into the Marvelous Moms palette and I'm just gonna use my Morphe M618 brush and just dip into one of these purpley shades. I'm gonna do the same thing with the Baked Browns <laughs> palette. And then just to add some fun color we're gonna dip into the highlight and this is one of their permanent highlighters in the shade gold is the new black and this is what the packaging looks like I don't really like this packaging because it kind of looks obnoxious I do like that they have a mirror so this is a gold shade I'm just gonna and then I'm gonna use the highlighter from the Desi and Katie collection this is mirror me and it is an illuminator so here is what the packaging looks like exactly the same as the eyeshadow palette are they the same size the eyeshadow palette is a little bit bigger so here we go I like this packaging a lot more than this packaging the black ones like a lot girlier I thought this color would work really well with my skin tone so I decided to pick it up so here we go Ooh, we girl mm, mm, mm. I feel like I look wet so let me show you guys why I don't like the setting spray this is a Colourpop aquamarine setting spray and this spray is insane like do you guys see that it's like it squirts out so much so I like to go like really far and it still showers my face it's like a sprinkler it's like getting hit in the face with a sprinkler I haven't noticed that it helps with the longevity or anything like that so whatever you guys want to do I definitely don't recommend that ColourPop product it's definitely the worst ColourPop product out there so I would definitely skip it. Basically I bought this lip color first. This is the shade Mondays and then of course I bought Hot Fire by Desi and Katie. So we'll try them out. Look at the difference in the packaging. The Desi and Katie one's actually smaller which is interesting. Let's try these out. I actually did purchase the only thing I've ever tried from Dose of Colors is their liquid lipsticks. I bought this metallic kit. I will link a picture somewhere around here a couple of Christmases ago and I hated the formula so I gave it all away and I never bought anything from Dose of Colors again but of course since they started selling on Ulta I figured I would try some of their products out and return them if I didn't like them so I picked up the shade Mondays. So here is the shade Mondays. It's definitely a great everyday shade, a beautiful nude for my skin tone. So I do really like this. It was easy to apply. This packaging is the same packaging as the Wet n Wild and the Jeffree Star packaging. So if you're familiar with that, of course the component colors are different and stuff, but it's the same concept and the 
doe foot is the same as well so i really like this shade and with liquid lipstick guys i don't usually use a lip liner it's definitely preference but now i took off mondays and i'm going to try the shade hot fire which is the one i picked out from the two shades that they came out with the other one was savage and I just wasn't a huge fan of that shade. So the components are a little bit different. This is soft touch nude packaging. If you are interested, you know, Desi and Katie did talk about like how they came up with the packaging and stuff in their videos. So I can link that down below. So I'm gonna give it a minute to dry down because I'm really curious to see if it's gonna be patchy. But this is exactly the color I was expecting it to be because Desi loves to wear colors like this and I just think it looks so great on tan skin. I think it just makes her look even more tan. So I'm hoping it's having that same effect on me. Okay guys, so here is the finished look, obviously, because you saw it in the intro. But I hope you enjoyed that demo because I wanted to be able to test the products or like first impression, most of them for you guys. So let me kind of go ahead and gather my overall thoughts on everything I tried out in this video. So for sure, these ColourPop misters i've only tried two of them but i did buy all four i would say hard pass on these they're only six dollars but i think the sprayers on these suck they like shoot you in the face and i really don't notice anything like amazing with these so i would definitely pass on them i think they're really pretty to look at and display but Overall, I think these are really shitty, so I am pretty disappointed in ColourPop about that. Next is the Becca Primer. I actually really like this stuff. This was not the first time I tried this out. I have been testing this out over the last couple of days, and I do feel like it does make my makeup last longer, which I think is pretty awesome. I don't know if that's like a scientific fact or if it's just my brain, but I definitely feel like my makeup does wear longer when I have this primer on. So this is the NARS Stick Foundation, and I am a huge fan of NARS products. You guys know that. I have tried a lot of their foundations. The NARS Sugar Glow is like my holy grail foundation. So I was really excited to try out their stick foundation. Overall, I thought this was really buttery and smooth. I don't know what the longevity of this product is, but it definitely did dry down, and I feel like it is going to stay on my face. If I remember, I will leave it in the description box, tell you how long I wore this foundation for, but it is a little bit later in the evening. It's about 5, 6 o'clock here, so I don't really know how much longer I'm going to have this makeup on, but I'm sure you'll see this featured in like a favorites video or anything like that if I did really enjoy it. The only thing with this is it is a high ticket item and you don't get a lot of product, but when it comes to stick foundation, you don't really need to use a whole lot. It still felt like I put quite a bit on, so we'll see. I also did try the MAC Groundwork paint pot. I do really like this. I have used it a few times already. I think this is a cool color. It's just a little bit different from like painterly or soft ochre, those shades that people use all the time. I just want it to be a little bit different. So I really did enjoy that. I feel like I featured the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in other videos, but if I haven't, this is one of my favorite concealers of all time. When this first came out, it was super hyped up, and now I feel like nobody talks about it. And I thought it was overhyped, but once I tried it out for myself, I really see why people like it. So if you're looking for a new concealer and you don't mind taking it out of a pot, I would 100% recommend this to you guys. So that's pretty much everything I think that was not Dose of Colors related. So let's get into my thoughts, my final thoughts on the Dose of Colors products that I tried in this video. So the first thing I want to touch on are these two eyeshadow palettes. Now, I think this is a great idea. I love the packaging and everything like that. But overall, this didn't really provide me anything unique. As far as my collection goes, I do have quite a few matte eyeshadow palettes. And my favorite is going to be the Visart uh, palettes. This is the neutral matte palette. And as you can see, this is basically the baked browns palette. Um, except it has a few more colors and it makes it a little bit more versatile, I think. I just don't like how... How powdery these shadows are and I didn't think they were very pigmented to be honest I do like that it is cruelty free and things like that but honestly like if you were going to spend all your money on a matte palette you might as well get 
something like this because it has more shades and it's more versatile. This one is definitely a one trick pony. You can only do so many eyeshadow looks with this, whereas this one you can do a great smoky eye because of that black and you can just do neutral. I just think it's more, obviously there's more shadows in here too. So I just feel like for the difference in price, you do get your money's worth with this one. And this one's really pretty, but I don't know, guys. I just feel like, no, thank you. And then, of course, I wanted to compare it to the ColourPop and I Love Sarah E collection. Like I said, a lot of the shades are very similar to the one in the Baked Browns palette. But it's also nice because the I Love Sarah E one comes with a glitter shade. So you can really do a full eye look with this because you can use the glitter shade on your lid. So I feel like this is very universal and it will just work on many different skin tones and so will this one but I just feel like this gives you more as far as an eyeshadow palette though it only has one less color this is like $12 right now on sale and this one is still full price so just not a huge fan of these I think that's definitely going to get returned the Marvelous Mobs one I did like a little bit more than the Baked Browns because I felt like it was a little bit more unique uh, because you don't really see a lot of all matte purple palettes and I did think this one stood out a lot better on my skin tone but again I want to compare it to the I Love Sarah E palette and as you can see there are some gorgeous matte purples in here as well as two shimmer shades so you can really create a variety of eye looks with this palette and this one I just feel like you know it's again one trick pony you can maybe do the same eye look like so many times so if you're somebody that doesn't like to fuss with their makeup and just wants one palette I would definitely recommend these but if you like to experiment and play and create I think these will serve you a lot better and they're really good quality and affordable so definitely check out ColourPop not sponsored I'm just telling you guys what I like As far as the highlighters go, I did have two to try out. The gold is the new black. I hate the packaging. I just don't like how bulky it is. I do like that little print in there, but this formula is very soft. It reminds me so much of the Jeffree Star formula. It reminds me so much of the shade King Tut. So I feel like I basically already have this color and the formula is very similar. Actually, I like King Tut is a little bit more champagne, but this formula, I don't really love you guys. So I'm going to have to take this back. I'm not a huge fan of this at all. I just personally don't think it's worth the money for me, especially with all the highlighters I have. I just, I know I won't use it. Mirame, uh, I won't take back. I do like this color a lot. This formula doesn't feel as emollient as the other one, but it's a beautiful champagne color and I feel like I will get a more like champagne rose color and I feel like I will get a lot of good use out of this. Plus I want to support Desi and Katie so I'm definitely going to be holding on to that shade. Now the last things I did pick up from Dose of Colors are the lippies and honestly I really liked the shade Mondays. I thought it looked really pretty on me so I will definitely keep trying this one and of course Hot Fire. I love this orange lip. It's really hard to find shades like this that aren't patchy. Once it dried, it dried beautifully. It's really comfortable. It's not drying my lips out and it's nice and opaque. And it's relatively transfer proof. There is a little bit of a ring on my hand here, but I don't think it's bad at all. I feel like you could definitely eat with this and stuff like that. So it is really hard to find a really nice like red shade that just like won't move around. I'm gonna remain hopeful on this one, but I love this color. I definitely think it makes me look uber tan, which I think is why Desi really likes to wear it too, because she has a really beautiful complexion and wearing shades like this just make her look even, both of them just even more gorgeous than they already are. Okay guys, that is it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely leave me a comment down below if you had any questions. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and it helps you out because you guys will get notified every time I upload a video. I also do upload quite often. Every other day is typically my uploading schedule. So if you like a lot of content, I would definitely subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sure this video is like 100,000 years long. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. 
Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I'm sure they're like down there or on the side. I have a bunch of different playlists you can check out. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a good day. Bye.